The Mitiana municipality MP Francis Zake is visibly bitter at the treatment he received in Arua that has left him unable to walk unaided. Today, he narrated his Arua ordeal from his home in Nalumunye. They beat up my legs and they were telling me that I should never walk again. The most painful thing so when they start pulling hard my private parts. According to Zake, he can clearly identify the SFC soldiers who reportedly tortured him and is planning to sue them. This impunity must stop. Individual officers must be prosecuted. And on this note, our legal team has already started working to bring the perpetrators to book. However, the SFC spokesperson Jimmy Omara labels the case allegations as baseless, calling upon him to let the courts of law deliberate on his matters than running to the media. Uh, of course, running to the media, uh, crying foul won't help him. Uh, we pray that let him come uh, how to openly uh, and help investigators and of course so that they find uh, the truth to this. I believe there is no uh, truth in, in this statement. I'm sure he's making every attempt to keep his story relevant. Meanwhile, the legislators also vow to prosecute doctors at Kirudu Hospital whom he accuses of treating him without his consent. These guys drove me to Kirudu and start forcing people who claim to be doctors to treat me, which is actually unlawful <coughs> medically and ethically. And preparation to show them is underway. We also have their names. Zake also wants justice for Bobby Wine's driver Yasin Kauma, who had earlier driven the Mitiana municipality MP to Arua before he was shot dead. Painfully, I didn't know that I was moving with him to meet his death. I never got a chance to even bury him. Rest in eternal peace. Comrade. Earlier, President Museveni claimed that Zake had escaped from police custody before he was taken to Lubaga Hospital, but Zake refutes the allegations. I was unconscious, so they are simply implying that they aided my escape if they allege so. I do further task them to explain to me and to the public and to those who care about me how I got to Lubaga Hospital. Ali Mivule, NTV.